please join us in the prayer for the sick and the homebound and those on our parish prayer list. Father of goodness and love, hear our prayers for the sick members of our community and for all who are in need. Amid mental and physical suffering, may they find consolation in your healing presence. Show your mercy as you close wounds, cure illnesses, make broken bodies whole, and free downcast spirits. May these special people find lasting health and deliverance, and so join us in thanking you for all your gifts. We ask this through the Lord Jesus, who healed all who believed. Amen. The entrance antiphon. Good morning, everyone. Today's Mass is the Mass of Monday of Holy Week, and today's Mass is being offered for James Smith and Alberto Barreto. And we begin, as always, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ be with all of you. And with, and with your spirit. spirit. My brothers and sisters, in order to prepare ourselves for these holy mysteries, let us think of our sins and ask God's forgiveness. Let us make our confession of guilt together, I confess to Almighty God, and to and you, you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, who pray for me to the Lord our God. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that through our weakness we fail. We may be revived through the passion of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Let us now be seated and be attentive to the word of God. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Here is my servant whom I uphold, my chosen one with whom I am pleased, upon whom I have put my spirit. He shall bring forth justice to the nations, not crying out, not shouting, not making his voice heard in the street. A bruised reed he shall not break, and a smoldering wick he shall not quench until he establishes justice on the earth. The coastlands will wait for his teaching. Thus says God the Lord, who created the heavens and stretched them out, 
who spreads out the earth with its crops, who gives breath to its people, and spirit to those who walk on it. I, the Lord, have called you for the victory of justice. I have grasped you by my hand. I formed you and set you as a covenant of the people, a light for the nations, to open the eyes of the blind, to bring out prisoners from confinement and from the dungeon, those who live in darkness. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. This reciprocal psalm, the Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? The Lord, the Lord is, is my, my light and my, my salvation. salvation. When evildoers come at me to devour my flesh, my foes and my enemies themselves shall stumble and fall. The, the Lord, Lord is my light and my, and my salvation. salvation. Though an army encamp against me, my heart will not fear. The war be waged upon me, even then will I trust. The, the Lord, Lord is my is light and my, and my salvation. salvation. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage. Be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord. The, the Lord, Lord is my light and my, and my salvation. salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. May the words of the gospel be in your heart and on your mind that you may worthily proclaim them in the name of the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail to you, our King. You alone are compassionate with our faults. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with, and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, glory to you, Lord. Six days before Passover, Jesus came to Bethany, where Lazarus was, whom Jesus had raised from the dead. They gave a dinner for him there, and Martha served, while Lazarus was one of those reclining at table with him. Mary took a liter of costly perfumed oil made from genuine aromatic nard and anointed the feet of Jesus and dried them with her hair. The house was filled with the fragrance of the oil. Then Judas the Iscariot, one of his disciples, and the one who would betray him said, why was this oil not sold for 300 days wages and given to the poor? He said this not because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief and held the money bag and used to steal the contributions. So Jesus said, leave her alone. Let her keep this for the day of my burial. You always have the poor with you, but you do not always have me. The large crowd of the Jews found out that he was there and came, not only because of him, but also to see Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. And the chief priests plotted to kill Lazarus too, because many of the Jews were turning away and believing in Jesus because of him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to, to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, once again. Now we have entered the holiest week of the church year, 
Holy Week as we begin the celebrations of all the Masses and Holy Thursday, Good Friday, Holy Saturday, and then Easter Sunday. I would encourage you to read the Passion of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ from Matthew and Luke. We had the reading yesterday from St. Mark, but I would ask that you take out your Bibles during the course of this week and look up the Passion uh, written by the other evangelists because St. John's uh, Passion will be read on uh, Good Friday. Now, if you can attend the services, that would be wonderful. But if you can't, during the course of this week, get out your Bibles and read the Passion from the other evangelists in order to prepare yourself and uh, to welcome what Jesus has done for you by his suffering and death upon the cross. You know, in the old days, I always go back to the old days because it was very, I think, a little more meaningful. Uh, we had the Passion read on, uh, on uh, Passion Sunday or Palm Sunday. And then on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of Holy Week, I remember in the old days, uh, the Passion was read from the other evangelists. You know, on Monday the Passion was read, and on Tuesday the Passion was read, and on Wednesday a Passion was read at Mass, so that people were prepared for Holy Thursday, when Jesus gathered his disciples around him celebrating the Passover meal. What is that Passover meal? We know it was freedom from uh, Egypt. And they were freed from the bondage of the Pharaoh and were on their way to the Promised Land and so Passover, they were passed over um, by the angel of death. And uh, they rejoice for many, many years. They still do it today. And at that Holy Thursday night was when our Lord instituted the most holy Eucharist, where he took bread and wine, which were used at the Passover meal and are still used at the Passover meal and change that bread and wine into his body and blood. Why did he do that? He did that because he wanted to remain here with his people under the form of bread and wine, the Holy Eucharist, for our journey of life so that we take him into ourselves as Holy Communion. Jesus wants to be in a sense, very intimate with you. And so many Catholics today, I have been told, do not believe in the real presence in Holy Communion. And I cannot understand why, because Jesus himself said it in the scriptures and at Holy Thursday, the Passover meal, he took bread and wine and he said, this is my body. And the wine, this is my blood. Do this in remembrance of me. This is what we do at Holy Mass. Now, the gospel that was read to you today, the religious powers during this week, they're plotting to arrest and punish Jesus. He returns to Bethany, the place where he raised Lazarus, his good friend, from the dead. And Lazarus and his sisters, Martha and Mary, have been on an emotional roller coaster. They have gone from grief of the loss of their brother and died to the immense surprise and joy that Jesus raised the brother Lazarus from the dead. And the authorities are determined to punish Jesus because other people are hearing about what he's doing and they're going over to him. They're converting to him and Jesus and his disciples 
are, in a sense, hiding. We do not know that Mary, the same sister who sat at the feast of, feet of Jesus in St. Luke's Gospel, comes once again to the feet of Jesus, but now she does not speak. She anoints his feet with aromatic nard, and this intimate act anticipates his death and burial. It prepares him for what is to come. So we long for the real presence and the physical touch of Jesus. How do we get that? Through Holy Communion. You touch Jesus, you take him into your very body. How much more intimate can you get? And so we long for that real presence. That's why I love adoration of the Blessed Sacrament because you can be with Jesus and talk to him as you would. You don't have to say the Hail Mary and the Our Father over and over. Talk to Jesus. What is prayer? Prayer is conversation with God. What is conversation? One person talking to another. And you wait for Jesus to respond to what your needs are. And uh, not just ask God for things. Thank him for the things he's already given you. You have many blessings in your life. And so thank him and ask him to keep close to you. We long for that real presence. We long for a physical touch. And so we have much to learn from Mary of Bethany because of her intimate gesture of washing his feet and drying them with her hair. She embodies the Eucharistic spirituality Jesus' disciples will soon come to experience at the Passover meal, when Jesus, for the first time, changed bread and wine into his own body and blood. Mary tainted and she became a contemplative practice. She understood the power of the real presence and the touch of Jesus. Her embodied witness to her friend's looming suffering reminds us that we too are called to offer others a tender touch of mercy, of healing, of silent presence, especially when words fail us. People say to me, Father, I love to come to adoration, but I don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything. Just look at Jesus and let him look at you. Words will come later in your mind, and you will say, finally, I love you, Jesus. I believe you're really here. May God bless you during this Holy Week. May God bless you for coming to Mass today. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Please stand now as we continue our worship and offer our prayers to God our Father in heaven. For the leaders of the church, May God's law guide them in serving in truth and with justice, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our national and local leaders, may the love of Christ empower them in providing for those most in need in their communities, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For the sick and the suffering, may the comforting embrace of Jesus and the peace of his healing hand be upon them in their need, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For this faith community, may we be blessed with the grace we need to be faithful disciples, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For an end to this pandemic, and for all infected by COVID-19, 
that God will ease their suffering and return them to health. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all those who have died, may they be welcomed into the heavenly kingdom by the communion of the saints. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And for all the prayers and intentions that we placed in our prayer book, and for all the prayers and intentions that we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O oh God, our Father in heaven, hear these petitions we place before you today. Grant them if they be your will. We pray these things through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us our bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me of my sin. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look graciously, O Lord, upon the sacred mysteries we celebrate here, and may what you have mercifully provided to cancel the judgment we incurred hear for us the fruit of eternal life. We pray these things through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Let Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and it just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty, since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exultation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. This morning I will use a Eucharistic prayer for reconciliation. You therefore, Almighty Father, we bless through Jesus Christ, your Son, who comes in your name. He himself is the word that brings salvation, the hand you extend to sinners, the way by which your peace is offered to us. When we ourselves had turned away from you on account of our sins, you brought us back to be reconciled, O Lord, so that converted at last to you, we might love one another through your Son, whom for our sake you handed over to death. And now, uh, celebrating the reconciliation Christ has brought us, we entreat you to sanctify these gifts by the outpouring of your Spirit that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, whose command we fulfill when we celebrate these mysteries. For about when he was about to give his life to set us free as he reclined at supper, 
He himself took bread into his hands, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, on that same evening, he took the chalice of blessing in his hands, confessing your mercy, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your, your death, death, O Lord, Lord and profess and your resurrection until you come, come again. again. Celebrating, therefore, the memorial of the death and the resurrection of your Son, who left us this pledge of his love, we offer you what you have bestowed upon us, the sacrifice of perfect reconciliation. Holy Father, we humbly beseech you to accept us together with your Son, and in this saving banquet, graciously to endow us with his very spirit, who takes away everything that estranges us from one another. May he make your church a sign of unity and an instrument of your peace among all people. And may he keep us in communion with Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, and Raphael, our pastor, and all the bishops and all your entire people. Just as you have gathered us now around the table of your son, so also bring us together with the glorious Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles, with all the saints, with St. Mark, our patron, with our brothers and sisters, and those of every race and tongue who have died in your friendship. Bring us to share with them the unending banquet of unity in a new heaven and a new earth, where the fullness of your peace will shine forth in Christ Jesus, our Lord. For through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, for the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now, now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. With and your with spirit. your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. On your stay, qui tollis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On your stay, we told his pecatamundi, miserere no hobis. Anu sei, we told his pecata.
Jesus Christ, not bring me to judgment and condemnation, but through your loving mercy be for me protection in mind and body and a healing remedy. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that, that you should enter under, under my roof, roof but, but only say, say the word and my soul shall be healed. healed. communion antiphon. The Lord is my light and my salvation. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. 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 Body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ.
And let us pray. Visit your people, O Lord, we pray, and with ever watchful love, look upon the hearts dedicated to you by means of these sacred mysteries, so that under your protection, we may keep safe this remedy of eternal salvation by which your mercy we have received through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, and with your spirit. spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May your protection, O Lord, we pray, defend the humble and keep ever safe those who trust in your mercy, that they may celebrate the Paschal festivities not only with bodily observance, but above all with purity of mind. We pray these things through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Have a wonderful Holy Week, everyone. Spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to you God entrusted his only Son. In your place place for trust, with, with you Christ, Christ became man. man. Blessed, Blessed Joseph, Joseph to us to show, show yourself, yourself a Father, and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage, and defend us from every evil. Amen. Wounded with his every...